Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is Nick Miller and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the best lighting solutions for your wedding receptions. My wife and I bring two different lighting systems to wedding receptions and I'm gonna go over both of those right now. The first light I wanna talk about is the best light you can buy for the money. It is the Core SWX Torch LED. This with a battery retails around $260 and I love this little guy. Before I upgraded to some bigger heavy hitter lights, this was my go-to light for all of my wedding receptions. I actually brought two of these to every single wedding. The thing that I love about them, one, is they are battery powered so that I can move them around wherever I need to. I don't have to worry about wall power or plugging in anything like that. Two, they are LED, which means that they don't get super hot when you have them on for a while. They are bi-color, which means that you can change the Kelvin from 3000, which is very warm, to 6000, which is very, very cool. Also, they are dimmable. I love these lights. My wife and I actually use these for reception details. The light stand that we use with our torch LED is a Cheetah Stand C8. And what's amazing about this stand is when you pick it up, it totally collapses. So the footprint is very, very small. We often don't have a lot of time when it comes to reception details. The nice thing about the torch on the Cheetah Stand C8 is you can pick it up, move it around, set it down, and get through your details very, very quickly. The Cheetah Stand retails for about $100, and with the Torch LED with the battery, it retails for about $350. The Torch LED is definitely more of a budget-friendly light. I highly recommend this one. Again, it is the best light that you can buy for the money. So pick up a couple Torch LEDs to better light your reception. If you'd like a full breakdown of the lighting kit that I use at our weddings, make sure to check the description below. Next, I wanna to talk to you about the Kinotech Practilite 602. This light is amazing. There are so many features that I absolutely love that I don't know what I did before I got this light. First off, this light has Bluetooth in it, so you can connect to it from your phone. One of the most annoying things about it as a light is you get them way high up in the air and then you need to turn it off or you need to change the color temperature or something like that. With Bluetooth, I don't even have to lower the light at all. You can make the lightness um, from really low to really, really high just from your phone. That's pretty amazing. Another thing that you can do is change the color temperature. So you walk into a reception and you need to make it a lot more orange. So you can pull that down on the scale, raise it up, fine tune it to be exactly what you want it to be. I love that I can control my light from my phone. The next thing I wanna to touch on is that this light is LED. It is powerful, it is bright, but because it's LED, that makes it so it's not hot. I have actually had this light on for three and four hours at a time, and when I take it off the light stand, I touch it and it is cool to the touch. The LED is so awesome because of that. Other lights that have this power output that you plug into the wall are going to get really, really hot really, really fast, and you have to let them cool for 10, 15, or 20 minutes before you can put them in your bag. The Practilite 602 is cool as soon as you turn it off. Another amazing feature about these lights is that they come with barn doors. Barn doors are fantastic because you are able to shape the light that is coming out of the Practilite. This works great for toasts. So I can get the toaster where I want them and then I can kind of narrow that light just a little bit so it gets the shadows exactly how I want them. The downside of the Practilite is that it is about $1,000. We love the battery power capability of our Torch LED. So whenever we got the Practilite, we wanted to make them battery powered. In order to do that, we had to buy a couple additional pieces that you can plug into the light so that we don't have to rely on wall power. The first thing that we needed was this juice box V mount battery. This is a 150 watt hour battery. It lasts for a long time. I have had our Practilites on for up to four hours at a time, full blast, and they did not turn off these batteries really, really work. But on the flip side, they're not very cheap. It's about $200 for one single battery. Next, we needed a way to attach the battery to the light so that the light would be battery powered. Kinotech makes a V-mount battery locking plate. You lock the battery right into place and then you plug the cord into the light and now your light is battery powered. This locking plate does run you about $100. 
Because these lights are so expensive, we wanted to get some really nice heavy duty light stands. We picked up these Manfrotto 104 BHC light stands and they are fantastic. Folded up, they're about 42 inches tall. They can raise up to 12 feet tall. They're heavy duty, they're not gonna tip over. You should still use sandbags, especially if you are raising your light that high, but they're great light stands. The thing that I absolutely love about these light stands is that you can fold them up and lock two or three or four of them together so they fit together really nicely. You're able to transport them a lot better like that. When it's all said and done, this Practilite kit runs you about $1,400. I know that that is really expensive, but in my opinion, this lighting setup is the best lighting setup for wedding receptions. You can put the light up high, they're really bright, the throw is really far, so you can put them in the corner of the dance floor, you can kind of put them at the side of the room so they're not obtrusive, they're not in the way. They are absolutely a fantastic light for wedding receptions. So what do you think about our lighting setup? We actually take two Practilites and one torch LED to every single wedding reception. What do you use? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel, smash that thumbs up button, and until next time, we'll see you.